Okay, so today I wanted to share with you guys my pyramid ranking of the original girls and Kendall on the show. And this is just in regards to their dancing. By the way, it has nothing to do with their on-show personality, their off-show personality, what I think about them now, and all of those things. And this is just my subjective opinion. And let's get into it. So at the bottom of the pyramid, I have Paige. You know, I thought Paige was a good performer for what it's worth. I feel like there's not a whole lot of solos to kind of judge her on in a sense. I could appreciate watching her for the most part. I think the other girls uh, just had better technique and stuff like that. But, you know, I appreciated Paige for what she had. Next up is Nia. I feel like as the show went on, she got a lot better technically and I could appreciate how she was always going to use her face whenever she was on the stage. I think that she had performance value. I feel like a lot of times Abby did set her up with the choreography and just stereotyping her like with the Laquifa solo, for example, and stuff like that. I feel like she deserved better choreography and more mature choreography for that matter and everything. The girls above her, I just prefer. Next up is Kendall. I agree with a lot of people that she was better in the group dance versus actually doing her solo and I feel like this is for a few reasons. Number one, I think that she just felt more comfortable in the group, which I can get. And so with the solo, I feel like Abby gave her a lot of jazz routines and I wish she would have gave her like more lyrical or contemporary dances, like look at Voodoo Doll and how she killed that. So I just think that that was a better styling for her as well and stuff like that. I think she had good technique for the most part and everything. I think that sometimes, you know, there was some nagging technical flaws or mistakes in the routines and I mean, hey, it happens. It is what it is. But I think a lot of times her solo on stage, it just felt underwhelming. It just felt lethargic and stuff like that. And so, I mean, yeah, Kendall had some good solos and some good moments, but overall, I just don't really go up for her a whole lot when it comes to the solo. I liked her better whenever she did the group dance or whenever she did a trio or a duet. I think those are where she really shined for the most part. And I think that Kendall was also just like really inconsistent. Like you didn't really know what you were going to get. And I agree with Abby that she didn't really use her face a whole lot on stage. So there was that. There was times where I feel like Abby set her up with the choreography, like with the blowing red solo, the battle feet solo and stuff like that. So I think she should have got different choreography and stuff. So, you know, I'll just say that. Next up, Mackenzie. So some of these pyramids that I see people do, they got Mackenzie Lauren here, but I'm sorry, Mackenzie definitely deserves to be right where I have her placed. And like I said in my recent video I did and I shared my top 10 Mackenzie solos, Mackenzie really had to hold her own in a group dance with girls who are years older than her and she did great, especially in like Tell Me What You Want, the Spice Girls dance, she really shined. She even had her partner lift you up. Bollywood and Vine, she was super impressive in that dance as well. And so, I mean, I think she did great in the group dance and she doesn't really get enough credit for being able to hold her own continuously in the group dance. And then also her solos were really entertaining to watch as well. Like I really love a solo like Daisy Chain, for example. Watch Me Fly was a nice, clean, you know, acrobatic routine that I really enjoyed. Back Crazy, the Eat Chips solo. Out of My Mind was something that was different for her. That was a more contemporary solo as well. Sink or Swim, that was a nice, clean routine as well. So, I mean, she had a lot of great solos. She had a lot of great solos. Forgot to talk about Dance Doctor too. And yeah, like I said, some of these new moms would come and then they would try to talk down on Mackenzie's abilities, acting like all she could do was the acrobatic trick whenever she has done other stuff and she always holds her own in the group and so they talked down to her talking about my daughter's gonna beat Mackenzie and then your daughter got beat by Mackenzie so you underestimated her and now your daughter just got beat so some people do not give Mackenzie enough for what she was able to do and I feel like she pretty much was always gonna own the stage and I feel like as the seasons went on she became better as a performer so you know all tens across the board to Mackenzie because when she went on stage for the most part she was gonna do what she needed to do Next up, we got Brooke. I mean, Brooke was just an amazing acrobat and just the things that she could do with her contortion work. It was just super cool to watch. Her technique was always going to be on point. I really enjoyed her solos for the most part. And I kind of would have liked to see her do other things as well. Like I would have liked to see her do like more lyrical solos and like contemporary and stuff because I know that she can do that. She had a great technique. But I mean, just watching her solos, breathtaking Dyer of Anne Frank, eight. The Animals Know, her best solo, Arm Yourself, I feel like is very underrated on there. She always held her own in the group dances and stuff like that. And whenever she had a lead part, like in Living with a Ribbon, I feel like she really shined. So yeah, Brooke, definitely one of the best on the original team. And she was always going to do what she needs. Next up is going to be Maddie. So I get why a lot of people put her at the top spot. And I certainly won't argue with you if you do, because she's proven herself time and time again. And I just feel like Maddie is a really strong dancer. One of the best dancers to, you know, be on the team for sure. And I feel like that's not really up for debate and so there's just a lot of great Maddie solos and there's a lot to like and some of my favorite solos happiness is my favorite Maddie solo I just thought that her musicality there and just overall is really outstanding and her fluidity in between movements and you know just the difficulty of the choreography and the execution I thought was pretty top tier uphill battle I feel like that is one that is definitely going to be an underrated solo for her but I really enjoy that one watching it back 
all god's creatures is amazing i really love holding on to that was a great moment and one thing about maddie she was always going to eat a front aerial and same thing with brooke as well and she just really put her all into that particular performance and that was one i really enjoyed i really like the helen keller solo as well and yeah there's just a lot to like she has a really strong solo catalog if you just like go look up everything she has on youtube as well and one thing that i liked is she was always going to use her face and she was always going to be able to play great characters and stuff as well and she just really performed big and she just made the most of every single time that she went on stage solo was going to eat love the duets and trios especially the ones that she had with chloe they were like my favorite duet partners on the show love the group and she was featured in the group a lot and to consistently like be that good and be able to lead a group just really shows something about her leadership and she's also like really much a team player and stuff on the show as well so i mean yeah maddie was very technically strong and she's also someone who is very versatile like she can literally do any style of dance and just really improved over the years so there's a lot to like about maddie's dancing and this is where i've decided to place her on the top of my pyramid is going to be Chloe. I've said multiple times that Chloe is my favorite on the show and that definitely includes the dancing and she was just my favorite to watch. And so Chloe technically was amazing and I agree with one thing that Abby said at Pyramid one of the only times Abby ate she said that Chloe's technique shines through and absolutely especially all the times that Abby set her up with a bunch of mid choreography and such and so she still went out there and she still kid especially with you know a solo like Friday night which definitely was kind of giving Paige in terms of choreography but she still did a great job with that and her facial expressions and stuff like that and so her turns were always to die for and i just feel like as she went on the show she had some improvement especially in terms of her musicality and her fluidity throughout movements and stuff like that she always had really great execution of emotions and stuff like that and she was always really great at playing a character like whenever abby had her play the black swan and that duet with maddie and just stuff like that like it was cool to see her tackle on darker roles and i feel like she always did them well so some of my favorite solos that she did on the show and to me is my favorite solo on the show period and just the emotional execution and the choreography and the execution i thought was really great and then silence her nationals winning solo was absolutely incredible love the costuming love the contemporary i really like when she did the contemporary solos i kind of wish she had more of those those were always excellent and then i also really enjoyed lucky star the turns on that one to die for to die for and about mother this is one that i was watching recently and just blown away at that solo one of her best solos and the turn sequence at the end absolutely ape and then another one that I really liked was Black Heart. That's always been one of my favorite Chloe solos. You Can has always been one of my favorite Chloe solos. It's unfortunate that she basically took away her win for that. Dream on a Star, a classic that we know and love. So yeah, she has a really strong solo catalog as well as Maddie. Chloe was always going to hold her own in the group dance. And it was really cool when she had moments where she was featured. Like Lad is a Feather Stiff as a board. I thought that that was really cool as well. And the duets and trios. Like I love the Wishbone duet. I love the We're All Right duet with Maddie. And in the solo, she was just very consistent time and time again technically she did the best that she could with what she was given overall chloe was a great ballerina great dancer overall i think that there was some versatility in terms of the styles and stuff that she could do and so that is why she's going to be on top in terms of the season seven dancing and everyone has the whole conversation about regression this regression that did she regress yes but i mean she wasn't training as much as she had previously and she hadn't competitively danced in such a long time so i'm sure it just takes a lot of time to get to where you want to be technically and all those things but i mean with that being said i still did enjoy watching her perform she had that lead in the NZP group dance and she did great and she held her own with them in the group dance and she just held her own in the group dance just generally i enjoyed watching her perform and her emotional execution like i thought her last solo was really good so so that's my thoughts there i will say that with all these girls a lot of times abby set up some of them with the choreography like i would have liked to see maddie do more contemporary pieces and stuff like that she often gave her a lot of the same lyrical stuff with the same steps and maddie was gonna nail it. i just would have liked to see her do more and same thing with mackenzie as well because you want to say that oh she's you know just a little kid and doing the same routine you keep giving her the same routine give her something different like why'd she have to fight so hard for the hip-hop solo and stuff like that nia like i said the typecasting and stuff like that i think Paige should have had more solo she didn't have enough to really give her on kendall i wanted to see her do more contemporary brooke i wanted to see her do more contemporary chloe she's had her up multiple times because she didn't want her to beat maddie especially with that hip-hop solo versus maddie's tap solo i mean that was very obvious and just there's been so many times she's been set up it's ridiculous but you know they all did the best they could with what they have not everybody is created equal and abby was going to set them up at certain times just not give them what they were capable of and i definitely agree with someone when they said that all the girls weren't really used to their fullest potential because i feel like all the girls could definitely do so much more than what they were given like i want wanted to see them like kind of do different steps and stuff like that but I really enjoyed watching them all and this is like my favorite group that was on the show overall just because 
you know, they were together before the show and everything. And so there was just a connection on stage and I just really enjoyed it. I think season one through four is the peak of Dance Moms. You know, we had some other great dancers to join the show. I loved Cameron. She's really underrated. Kalani's definitely one of the best dancers. If I had Kalani on here, she would be very high up on this list. I can tell you that. And so a lot of this is just based on my opinion. Who do I enjoy watching the most? What are my thoughts on their technique, the choreography that are given to them? So it's just my opinions there. But that's how I decided to have it. Okay, now onto my ranking for the season eight kids. So Presley's at the bottom. I just never really went up for whenever she did her solo or even the group dance for that matter. Like she just kind of blended into me and you know that one duet she did with Giannino was good I will say that but I just didn't really generally go for her like solo wise next up is Sarah same thing I just didn't really go for most of her solos I will say the acrobatic routine she did was good I'll give her that and she did good in the body and soul group dance but another dancer that was just there to me Next up was Hannah. I actually do feel like Hannah is underrated on the show because, I mean, she beat Giannina and Giannina is, like, amazing. And so she deserves a little bit more credit. She had that one solo that was in there that I actually thought was pretty good. So, yeah, people sleep on her a little bit too much, but she was a pretty good dancer. I always thought she did good in the group dance. And a lot of the times for the solos, I feel like Abby did not give her the right choreography, stuff so she would have really shot not doing. But, you know, she had a few good moments on the show with the solo. Next up is Eliana, very strong technical dancer, obviously. The reason why I have her here is because Abby just did not give her a card enough choreography for her skill set. She was underutilized, so it's unfortunate, but amazing dancer, obviously. Next up is Lily, and Lily had some great pieces. The straight escape solo was absolutely amazing, and then the last solo she did, Inside Out, was great. So yeah, Lily has some great moments. I have to throw her up there. Next up is Savannah, the It's Not My Fault solo, amazing. Metamorphosis, amazing. Very, very strong dancer. She held her own in that trio that she did with Gian, Nina, and Hannah. It's unfortunate that we don't really have more solos and more stuff because, you know, they left the show at a certain time, but definitely one of the best dancers on the team. I fear always eight in the group as well. Next up is Brady, amazing technical dancer. Abby just didn't know how to choreograph for him. He maybe got like two decent solos the entire time that he was on the show. And I mean, what was that last solo that he had, that musical theater solo, I Want Dance, that was not competitive and you want him to win and you're giving him that? Are you kidding me? The PTSD solo I thought was really good. Yeah, it was just very strong great ballet like amazing technical dancer abby just did not give him anything that choreographed to his strength so it was just really frustrating to watch in that respect but i gotta give him his 10 my favorite dancer to watch on the show was definitely giannina i mean she was absolutely incredible you know she was on broadway she danced with mariah carey my favorite singer of all time she was in the greatest showman and whenever you see her perform it makes so much sense because she performs larger than life she's always going to use her facial expressions i thought that her technique was incredible and just a very very strong dancer so yeah i feel like you know she was the best one there obviously i got her at number one and some people don't give her the credit that she deserves which is honestly kind of crazy because she carried that tree on her back she and the group dance she ate in the solo and yeah i mean her beating brady twice i mean that's no small feat and everything i will say that and you know i like the crossroads solo a lot i liked the big shot solo the personality one that she did for her grandmother snowflake was certainly a moment so easily the best one in my opinion and so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on this do you agree with me do you disagree with me and we can continue the conversation there and then by the time you're watching this either the day before this video is out or the day after i've already done my pyramid on the moms and so you guys can go watch that and let me know what you think there if you wanted to see similar videos to this i have a bunch of videos on dance films i'll link them down below in the description and also at the end of this video if you would like to check them out and so i've reviewed pretty much every single season of the show i shared my favorite solos for all of these girls here and so you can watch that my favorite group dances my favorite duets and trios so i've done a bunch of content on them and there's more to come but thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a like below it helps me out a lot in youtube algorithm i very much appreciate it you can subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this if you the bell you get a notification to your phone when i post and that brand new video come out first link down below in the description will be my main channel i just posted my michael jackson history album reaction over there also gonna have twitter instagram spotify tiktok and my airbuds if you would like to follow me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one